Our mobile generators transform the stored energy and diesel fuel to electricity for daily use. Let's take a closer look. A generator engine converts diesel fuel to mechanical energy that rotates the crankshaft. As combustion occurs in each cylinder, energy transmits to the engine crankshaft which generates mechanical power for the alternator. An alternator converts mechanical power into electrical energy in a process called magnetic induction. Magnetic induction occurs when a conductive material such as a copper wire passes through a magnetic field and voltage is produced. If the wire is connected in a complete circuit, the power can be transmitted. Alternators include two primary parts, a stator and a rotor. The stator contains copper coils wound into the alternator's outer casing. The rotor also has wire coils wrapped around an iron core, but unlike the stator, it is attached to the engine crankshaft so it rotates with the engine. When voltage passes through the rotor coils, it creates an electromagnetic field. As the rotor spins, its magnetic field cuts across the stator's conductive wire and generates voltage. Because the magnetic field builds and subsides, voltage fluctuates between positive and negative peaks, which is known as alternating current. The stronger the field, the higher the peaks. Ideally, voltage levels should be consistent so that constant power is provided when under load. To do so, an automatic voltage regulator, or AVR, adjusts the magnetic fields as needed. During heavy power demands, voltage decreases, causing the AVR to increase the magnetic field. Conversely, when power demands are low, the AVR tempers the field. Dusan mobile generators also include alternators with six coils wound into the stator. This provides three voltage sources or phases. Because each phase combines two coils of wire, the sources can be connected in series for high voltage applications or in parallel for low voltage needs. To simplify wire connections, Dusan mobile generators have a convenient selector switch. When an operator selects the desired voltage, the switch adjusts the connections and current flows through a protective device called a circuit breaker. If current exceeds capacity, the breaker halts the system, protecting the generator and connected equipment from potential damage. Once power reaches the connection panel, operators can attach power cables to the generator's terminal board, receptacle panel, or cam lock panel.